Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marco from the Love Bros coming at you today with a review slash update on my infill gamer and my pitching gamer. Uh, I have Matt's glove here just to show you the difference in the fingers, the size, on how much thicker and bigger those are compared to my infill gamer. Uh, I'm gonna start with my Rollins Hard to Hide Pro 200 2BP. I'll show you guys the model number. Um, uh, I really do like this glove, even though I don't play a lot of infield, I mostly just PO. But for my summer team, I, uh, during practice or during IO, I'll take reps at second. Um, that's how why the glove has a lot of wear on it. Also, I haven't cleaned it in a while because I usually leave it at the field. I usually just bring my pitching glove home just so I can just play catch whenever I want with it. Or if I have a game, I'll, I'll usually bring this, even though most likely won't play second. So, um, I'll just show you guys a little overview of the glove. Um, no cracking on it. It still has its color. The nice black and pretty much very, um, little cracking in the liner, but it doesn't really affect it at all. It's not, like, super major. The fur is still good. Just thick enough, but not too thick. Um, finger pad's good. I... I go two in the pinky finger on it, so I it really has like an indent on it. You can kind of see how deep it goes in because I really force my finger on it. I uh, when I was breaking this in, I used to, started there. I actually used to I wanted to break it in five finger. I'll show you guys a ball in the pocket with five finger. It's definitely not bad. It closes over it, but I feel like some ground balls just I lose it. At second, I have time. Even I just bobble it, but when I'm playing, was playing short, it was a big difference. So I did go to the pinky. I'll show you the ball in the pocket on that. It's definitely a lot better. It's a little deep, but some people say, "Oh, when your glove's too deep, you lose transfers and stuff." It really doesn't happen for me. I don't know. Maybe I can just control the ball. I don't know. This glove is definitely a nice glove. If you want a nice infill glove. It, to me, it definitely plays small, but for a nice second baseman or even a shortstop, it's it definitely gets the job done. That that's basically it for this. I'll go now to my pitching gamer, my Rollins Hard to Hide Pro 12M, and this is my baby. This is again, I don't clean this too much because it doesn't get that much wear on the mound. Some ground balls there and there, or during practice when I have to. PFPs. But that's basically all I do with this. Um, this glove is broken in awesomely. When I got this in a trade, it was still stiff, so I I got to break this in. This is this is traditional. I'll show you ball in pocket. Completely swallows the ball, and I'll show you two in the pinky. <laughs> Clam. It's just perfect. I, uh, I put the big flare on both my gloves. It's just preference to me, I know. A lot of my teammates don't like the big flare. They always mess with me with that. But To me, it doesn't really affect the glove. It's just how you like it. This is all black. I, I, I did never release it. I don't think I'm gonna because i um, getting my new pitcher's glove over the summer, probably after the state tournament for the American Legion. But, um, this glove I used for the winter and the spring season. And even though it was really nice, it definitely did fall apart. I'll show you the shape of it. It's It still has some shape, but I really did break it in the way I like it, so. It's really broken in, but if you like a really broken in glove, it's, it's definitely perfect. It has perfect shape. It still catches the ball perfectly every time, and it gets the job done. Gets the job done on the mound. I could talk. Um, so um, now I'll show you really how broken in this is with Matt's glove on how thick his fingers are compared to mine. How thin they are. It's just how I like that. I really like to break my gloves in. I know Matt always uses a stiff glove when he catches, just so he catches in the same spot every single time. Um, I I like really like to just break my gloves in. 
Even though I do do it naturally, I don't do anything like put it under my bed. Or I'll just do mallet work and just catch. And it's good that I use it for pitching because when I c catch like other people's flat grounds or whatever, and they're throwing like mid 80s to it, it really helps break it in. Um, so that's basically that glove. It's just definitely the mesh is definitely nice, and if you need a nice pitcher's glove, it's not too expensive. Definitely nice. Uh, both of these will probably be for sale. Matt's glove will most likely never be for sale. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on his. He already has that. And he probably doesn't even want me touching it either way. So um, that's it. Just make sure you follow our Instagram. Uh, skill videos will definitely be coming soon. Probably by the time we post this, it'll be the skill videos will be like done. We'll just be editing them. Damn, this glove is so far. Um... So that's basically it. Make sure you do our giveaway. We're giving away to DP15 of 3000. So um, follow us, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.